Yes, one of the Avengers flag characters is Captain America, and America is like the last country to get this movie. Makes little sense. Very little sense. <laughs> The Avengers. If my voice sounds a little weird, it's because I'm coming down with something that's sequentially taking my voice away. So we'll try to power through this review before I lose my voice entirely, which I'm sure will happen by the end of this video. All right, so four years ago in the movie Iron Man, we were promised the Avengers. And even then we were like, is that real? And now it has come to fruition. Now, if this sucks, it's all for nothing. And it's kind of a shitty prospect, but it's just the reality of the situation. All right, if you remember when I heard Joss Whedon was the director of the Avengers movie, I was like, that's perfect. Because Joss Whedon does a good job at taking a a bunch of different characters and making them all relevant and to that i still hold and in the avengers he shows i loved it i was watching the avengers i'm like everyone is relevant black widow's more relevant than she was in iron man 2. let us take a moment for scarlett johansson moment of silence worth it when you're watching a scene with thor it's all about thor a scene with captain america it's all about captain america and yes mark ruffalo was good as bruce banner he only hulks out like twice in the movie i was like i'd like to see more hulk however when he does hulk out it's the coolest shit ever once again the incredible hulk is this unstoppable force and it's He's a badass. And not only did all these Avengers characters work, but they were all believable because they didn't like each other at first. They could have just as easily been like, oh no, we're all coming together. Let's fight for truth and justice. They didn't go that route. They were like, no, nah, all these strong personalities, they're gonna clash. Now for me, what really locks it down and makes it like, oh yeah, all these movies have now converged in the Avengers is the supporting cast. Some of the supporting cast from some of the other Marvel movies that are Avengers build up pretty much, they're in the Avengers too. So that was really cool that like locked it down. They could have just had the main heroes and that's it but nah, they have a couple supporting characters. That's awesome. And what would the Avengers be without a sweet-ass villain? Moment of silence, Loki is the man. He is. The dude's badass. Right when he first comes on the scene, you're like, I don't know how they're gonna beat this guy. He is more of a badass in the Avengers than he was in Thor. And I liked him in Thor. Yeah, the dude was pretty unstoppable. Pretty awesome. I guess my only gripe about the movie is there was no Red Skull in it. I mean, spoiler alert, I don't think that's spoiler saying something's not in the movie. But he's not in the movie, and maybe they're saving him for the sequel. The Avengers is two hours and 20 minutes long. That's completely perfect. In fact, when you're watching the movie, you're like, I don't want it to end. Usually with a two hour, 20 minute movie, by the time it ends, you're ready for it to end. Now with the Avengers, you're like, no, I want to see him Hulk out more. I want to see Iron Man fly. I want to see Thor do the thing, you know, with, like the, with the hammer and the lightning and the cool. I mean, the last 20 minutes of the Avengers alone are worth it. The last 20 minutes of this movie, I'm telling you, man, just all sorts of kick ass. But other than that, you have another two hours of movie that's just also really good. It is kind of an end of an era, you know? I mean, yeah, they'll have another Avengers movie and they'll all come together again, but it won't be as cool as that first time you see all these characters together in one movie. The original Avengers, man, I'm telling you, this is a feeling that you don't really get in movies nowadays. Everything built up to this and it built up perfectly and the movie was just badass and awesome. It's not every day a four-year plan pays off for us, the viewers. So I will say, the Avengers is awesome-tacular. If you're a Marvel fan, you'll love it. If you love superhero movies in general, you'll love it. This is what cool summer movies should feel like. It's like the first time I saw Star Trek. I don't think there's a lot of people who can come out of this movie and be like, ugh, it's not as good as Drive. So have you seen the Avengers yet? What did you think? Comment below, let me know. Odds are, if you're not in America, you have seen it by now because like I said, we're the last ones to get it. And as always, if you like what you've seen here and you want to see more, click right here to see more.